I'm Kristen. And I'm Brooke. And this is Mornings, Mornings with Brittle. Brittle. Today, we're going to dive a little bit more into our wellness program. Not only are we very focused on the physical well-being of our residents, but also the mental well-being. And we have a lot of programs and activities in place that our residents get to take part in if they choose to really strengthen both of those areas. Right. So last week, we talked a lot about the fitness center and classes offered here. This week, I had the chance to sit down with Mary. She's our fitness coordinator. And she gave me lots of insight into kind of these opportunities that happen outside of the fitness center and these activity, the classes that we offer. Um, and she also shared some great tips. Well, why don't we take a look? Sounds good. Hi, Mary, how are you? I'm good, Brooke, how are you? I'm good, thank you so much for being here with us this week. We wanted to talk more about fitness at Riddle Village, so I figured we'd start with, why don't you tell us a little bit about all that you do here? I know there's a lot. Well, to start with, I do in addition to eight classes across the board five days a week, I do, I organize the wellness seminars, I um, organize the annual health fair when we were having it before COVID, mm -hmm. um, I co-facilitate two support groups and I bring speakers in for them and I also run the RCIS pop-up seminars which are very similar to Aging Gracefully only they are a little more uh, disease or chronic illness specific okay. and I do among other things, walking tours and walking trips to engage people culturally, socially, but also to get some physical exercise because we go out and walk. And I straddle activities and wellness, so I kind of do a little of both in both avenues. Right, I know there's a lot, and in our video last week, we really talked about the fitness center and the classes offered here. So these walking trips out, what can you tell us about that? Well, I did them at my previous employer for about eight years, so I really, it is something that's really a great way to get exercise and get out of uh, the building, out of your apartment. Mm -hmm. Isolation is never good for older people. And we go all over. We've done everything from the Bronx Zoo and the 9-11 Museum to just the local gardens and museums around here. Um, Last year I started an AM walk in the park once a month, so we go to some really nice landscape parks on Tuesday morning. Next Tuesday morning we're going to Bartram Gardens, for instance. Oh, it's so fun. Last month we went to uh, Peace Valley Park up in, in Doylestown, which Ooh. is a great park around a man-made lake. Yeah. Um, and we had a picnic lunch there. Most of the time my trips are wrapped around a meal in some capacity, <laughs> simply because that's a great way to get to know your neighbors and yeah. interact on a different basis. But they always include movement and walking. That being said, I always try to be inclusive so that there are places to rest. Mm -hmm. There are places, it's a place where somebody with a walker can go, a person with a cane, a, you know, a person that needs an aid, whatever. Right. But I try to make them as inclusive as possible, yeah, just like my classes and just like my classes and everything else. Right, your classes range from if someone just wants to get started or mm -hmm. if they're a little bit further along, right? Yes, yes, okay. and even if they have to take a break and sit down and they can catch up with us when they're ready. I, inclusivity is very important to me. Oh good, mm -hmm. that's good to hear. So obviously you know a lot about fitness here at Riddle Village, even just uh, in older adults. Do you have any tips you can share for us? Um, I have, um, well, the top three that I can think of off okay. the top of my head, and the most important, I'll start with the most important, I think. Mm -hmm. um, water. Okay. Drink water, even if it's in the form of seltzer water flavored with some orange juice or fruit juice or a squeeze of lime. Water is one of the most important parts of our diet and people just forget or don't include it. They, okay. they replace it with soda or coffee or tea. That doesn't count. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's a hard habit to acquire, but once you get a habit of it, it's very easy to hang on to and it'll become very natural. I made the suggestion to my father years ago that if he took a glass of ice water with his every meal, a big 16 ounce glass of ice water with mm -hmm. every meal, that would be a great start. That's a good idea. So that's a very good start. That's a good tip. Number two, no matter what, move. Even if you are limited in your capacity to walk, even if you are, say, have had a procedure and you're not able to get up and around the way you want to, even if you're limited in your mobility, you can move. Mm -hmm. You can do seated exercises. Um, if you've gone through physical therapy, keep those exercises. Mm -hmm. You can do movements in your bed. You even, even 
in the hospital, they even get you up and moving. So movement is very important it, and, and it goes hand in hand with isolation. Even if you get out and walk the hall and say hi to a couple neighbors for yeah. 15 minutes, just get out of your apartment and move for a yeah, few minutes. Yeah, it's good for physical health and mental health. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. and emotional. Yeah. And and thirdly, um, if and this goes hand in hand with number two, stretch. Stretch okay. every day. Even if you're not somebody who likes exercise, who wants to come down to the gym, who wants to come to a class, or you're somebody that sleeps late, get up and spend about, I don't know, even 10 to 15 minutes in your bed stretching. If you need help with that, I've got an encyclopedia in my head, but I also have printouts in my office that I could simply hand you. Mm -hmm. Literally five, 10 minutes of stretching, very easy that you can do laying in your bed. Oh, it's awesome. real good for, yes, it's very good for circulation. It's very good for waking the body up and the mind. It'll, mm -hmm. it'll get things going. It'll wake you up. It'll kind of get you out of the funk. Yeah. yeah. It's great that there's ways to stay active here. And then there's also resources to learn more about stretching and like how much to drink every day. Things right. like that. Yes. There's, you're just, you're a wealth of knowledge. Yeah, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> but like I said, I have, I have a, a bunch of forms yeah. of stuff in here in the oh, head. In well, the head. thank you so much for joining us this week. That was great. Lots of good tips. And we'll, you, if you live here, if you're a resident here, if you're here for a tour, you'll always see Mary out and about and she's filled with great tips to share. Come see me. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye everyone. I find it so interesting, the walking activities that Mary has where they go to different places once a month. Mm -hmm. Not only does it focus on the physical activity, but it also is so important for mental engagement. And I love that she ties in both of those things and also tries to make it very inclusive to as many residents as possible so they can get out there with fellow residents, see places they've never seen before, mm -hmm. get out in fresh air if possible. Um, but also just having that socialization is huge. Right. Mary thinks about everything. Like when she's planning these activities and the fitness classes, they're all designed for like different levels for everyone, no yeah. matter where they're at in their fitness journey. And what I liked about when we were talking about the tips that she shared, even if you just want to use Mary as a resource, you can stop by the fitness center. She has pamphlets and things to help you get started. And I just think that's great for all of our residents. I really encourage people, if they haven't met Mary yet and they're newer to Riddle Village, give her a call, stop on by. She's always happy to talk about what we have here that may interest you. And you know, even if you don't want to do the physical aspect, she is a wealth of knowledge and yeah. she could certainly um, point you in the right direction to work on some things that maybe are important to you. Yeah. So. Next week, we will look forward to coming to you with even more information about Riddle Village, and we hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye.